back everybody to Dragon Den and once again we are doing the multiverse with Atom and we're fighting Harley Quinn and we got a brand new control here you know, the last one pretty much died at the end <laughs> yeah and we're and granted we don't know how what it's been forever since I played on my PS4 that we weren't even sure how much battery was gonna be in the control it, enough enough is on the control Miss Harleen. But yeah, Ryan Choi continuing on because we like straight completely off subject on who Ryan Choi is. He's like the apprentice to the Atom yeah. and took up the mantle after Ray Palmer died, quote unquote. Yeah. He basically got lost in the miniverse. Microverse as Rick would call it. Ow. And that's why he's the second Atom. Yep. Or third. Would be the. Wait, wait, there's three? Yeah. Wait, what order is they going then? Uh, it's. The Golden Age Adam, then Ray Palmer. Okay. Remember Adam Smasher and. Damage's father? Yeah. He was the original Adam. Oh, okay. Alright, that makes sense now. Ow, ow, ow! Okay, that was really close. Does that monster truck keep smashing him to the background every so often? Was it a one-time smash? It's a one-time smash! Uh, imagine how much damage that 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 theater is like telling people like, don't stop coming to our theater! Uh, aha! Okay, they were, don't oh, stop coming. Uh huh. IN YOUR FACE! Damn. Imagine you really have to control your body at that point. Because you can easily, like, punch straight through their yeah. cheek. Didn't, game, like, Film Theory talk about that? Like, theoretically, if, like, someone the size of Ant-Man shrunk down to punch you, like he did in the movie, it would punch a hole through your cheek? Yes. Because physics is a thing. It's a really tiny point hitting you at the full force of a 200 pound man. Right? Yep. I like that color scheme. It's like a traditional, like, 80s. Yeah, it's full on it's 80s. It's full on 80s with the face paint and <laughs> the hair and the denim and the spikes. Right? And the studs, right? Oh! And like, I was, oh, like, I saw a Deadpool girl. I don't know if you were hurt. They was watching Because Science. What happens when a lightsaber actually makes contact with a person? It's not pleasant. No. Like, they try, like, physics behind the lightsaber. Um, do you know what that does? Just turning it on. Yeah, it's already heat. I'm here to save But. We, like, it's well established that the lightsabers are actually plasma. And that much plasma in a confined area with that much energy, you know what it does to everything in a room when it turns on? Yeah, it burns it instantly. So, like, ignoring all of that, then if you make contact with a person with a lightsaber, in your face! Have you ever seen someone throw a bottle of water into molten metal? Yeah, that's kind of what happens. Yeah. It's kind of like how Did in... you see that episode? Yeah, but it's kind of like how in movies... Um... Strength for ability. Nah. It's kind of like how in movies, like, you're s safe from lava as long as you do not touch the lava, right? Yeah. When in actuality, just being around lava is enough to melt your face off! Yep. It's like. I lava is not something that is just. hot at the surface! <laughs> like the heat that is around an entire volcano is like. It, it'll toast you before anything. 
people say. Before you can even get close enough to touch it, Begin. you're gonna be burning or you can catch fire already. Unless right? you're already on fire. <laughs> Wilhelm! Did we, I swear we were gonna insert it, the scream on one of these. Oh, it's a scuba mask! I thought it was a trophy. <laughs> that looks like such a cheap juggle. Like I said, it seems like such a cheap juggle. And like, it's just a way to like just rack up damage. I wish. I don't know if you saw, but it really didn't do much. No, the damage scaling like really starts hitting it, doesn't it? Like, I noticed the damage scaling like hits moves are cheesier. Yep, faster. Doesn't it? Like the cheesier the combo, the faster the damage scaling hits it. Ah, yep. Can't block that. Oh god damn it! God damn it! What are you aiming, boy? Ryan Choi's got this. Who? <laughs> Ryan Choi, the Adam. Who do you think <laughs> I've been playing as for the last thirty minutes? <laughs> I forgot his name. I'm sorry. I don't know why I keep thinking Ray. Ray Palmer. He's dead! Yes, I oh, know. So they say. It's never. Well, yeah, they already revealed it in the comics, but. Ray was alive. He's alive! Alive, sir! And he, in the TV. In the CW verse, Ray Palmer is played by not Superman, Brendan Ruth. I'm a mind. He really? Yeah. And he actually does a really good job as the Atom. I like him better as the Atom than I liked him as Superman. No one liked him as Superman. No one liked that Superman movie. Kevin Spacey couldn't save it. Well, he's definitely not saving anything now. God damn you! I hate you! I hate your cheese combo! There was a combo I did to, like, Robin once with Atrocious that did, like, half damage. Like, wow. half his health. Instantly gone! Just from the cheesy combo that is atrocious. You know, I kinda like the white glowing tips. But then it's like. Hey, he, he just mentioned the microverse, so. Ah, oh, apparently it's a thing! It's a teeny verse. You know what? Dexter looks awesome because he looks like he's bone and nothing but bone and muscle armor. I like when Dexter like doesn't know what he <laughs> to do. He's so like, he's well, I'm out of here. I tried, man. God damn it! I have nothing. He has everything to gain. And he doesn't wager anything. Oh god, my face! It burns so bad. No, but of course he's gonna wager. You're an idiot if you don't wager. So, now that it's getting colder, I'm really debating whether I should go out to Target and buy that Chewbacca onesie. They don't have it anymore. Get that, really. Yeah, I went today. The only onesies they had were Spider Man and generic onesies. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah, well, I told you to buy it, and you were like, do I really need a <laughs> Chewbacca onesie? The yes, answer was yes, and I didn't do it. I even told you, you're not getting another shot at this. Hey, Hellboy's back. At the same level, too. But you can call me Atom. Hellboy. Paranormal investigator. No, you fought in the previous one. Yeah, I know, but at this one, too. We fought at Arkham Asylum. Oh, same stage. So... Hey I'm not the one who's getting the whole biker theme for Hellboy, ow, right? Ow. No. Like he's going all biker on you. Like the whole biker get up. It's just like I don't know. It's just like I want to make a joke, but I'm like, nah, it's like I don't even know any good biker jokes. I I do. Name one. Okay, we call. Bi bicycles, bikes, right? Yeah. And we call tricycles, trikes. Yeah. So should we call motorcycles, mics? Maybe 
a group of mics put a stop to that before it even started. <laughs> ah, you like that one, don't you? Ah, I can't touch this! I can't believe we did I swear you've said that joke before. You have. I have. But you walked into it, sir. Ow. I dare you to say it. Yep. I can't believe I did that. Bring it! Bring it! Oh god damn it. Had enough yet, pal. He, wa he wagered. I'm still putting a stop. You're only getting two bars. You only waited two bars? No, I only- I made sure he only got two. Ow! Why? What are you doing? I waited one. So, because of that, he wasted most- more of yep. it. Yep. Uh, so anyway, we're halfway done with this tower. When we come back, we'll continue the Atoms Tower. So, see y'all later, guys. Alright, peace out!